Hello, YouTube. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? This is going to be one of our um, better videos. Um, please stick around for the whole thing, okay? Because there's some things that um, are going to be very hard to explain. And I'm sure you guys have heard of Code Sydney, Cindy, and I want to explain that to you today. Let's get it. Before I get into this, so pretty much they have somebody who is pretending to be a 14 year old calling into Planned Parenthood. That's really all the information you need right now. For quality assurance purposes, this call may be monitored or recorded. Thank you for calling Planned Parenthood of Greater New York. My name is Marinella, pronouns she and her. How can I assist you? Hello, my name is Kelly, and I was calling. Um, I'm a little nervous, um, but. I've come out to my parents as trans, and they don't want to help me out, and I'm only 14 years old, and I was calling because someone gave me information that you guys could help me out. Okay, let me see if we do services for underage. Uh, give me one second. one second. Is it okay if I place you in a brief hold? Yes. Thank you so much. Please note the parent parent. Here. Thank you so much for holding. I'm so sorry, but this came, we're children. only doing services if you're over 18. Oh, okay. Uh, is there anywhere yes, else I that can... you, you know that could possibly help? Mm, I don't, but let me give you a number. <laughs> to, uh, we can also help you with this, actually. They're called Community Health Care. Okay, what's the Give number? One second. Yeah, one second. It's 866-246-8255. Thank you so much. I'm, I've been so worried. Thank you so much. No worries. You got this. Thank you so much. No worries. You got this. You can take the opportunity. I understand you're at work. You're working your nine to five. I don't expect everybody to be perfect. What's up, man? I don't expect everybody to be perfect. But you could have took just a small couple of seconds to be like, listen, um, please think about this before you make this call. What could happen from this conversation forward could change your life entirely. I understand not everybody believes, okay? But dang, can't y'all just have some compassion just to be like, you got this? What do you mean by you got this? Got what? That this this little, I know this is pretend, but at the same time, I mean, this is the real call. Everything happening here is real, but I understand that the person talking is just, you know, undercover. But you can take just a couple seconds to be like, listen, you, you probably shouldn't go this route. Maybe talk. Maybe I can give you a number to a counselor. Would you like that? Maybe a, a number to a therapist. Would you like that? Maybe to take the route for you. At least give an alternative. You couldn't say anything else. You got this. Come on, man. Thanks for calling us. And like you know, once you're 18, you can always call us if you need assistance. Thank, thank you. <laughs> no worries. Bye. Take care. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go, guys. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Community Health Network. My name is Brian. Help me out. Hello. Uh, my name is Kelly. Um, I just called uh, the Planned Parenthood, um, and they gave me your number, and they said how um, they couldn't possibly help me because I'm underage. But my parents, I came out to my parents as trans, and they uh, freaked out and said that they wouldn't help me in any way possible, possible. Um, and I was wondering if you guys could help. Of course, but what is it that you're in need of? Uh, just any, like, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm only 14, and I'm trans. I, I don't feel like I'm in the body that I'm supposed to be in. And I told my parents this, and they freaked out and yelled at me. So I'm just seeking any kind of help I could get. But, okay, so let's backtrack a little bit. Um, if you're if you're looking for like a primary care provider and then like looking for like treatment like hormonal therapy we can do that um uh, mental health services we also offer that uh when you said planned parenthood i'm sort of thinking if you're looking for hormonal therapy we're, we're here for you talking to a child a child just remember that along the lines of termination but i don't i don't know if that's what you're looking for no no my one of my friends told me that Planned Parenthood helped, but they said I, they, they couldn't because I was too young. And Planned Parenthood gave me this number. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for hormonal treatment, um, we can help with that. Oh, oh can, um, how would I go about scheduling an appointment so my parents wouldn't find out? Oh, uh, well, you would be put on the cold Cindy. So cold Cindy's are just, we reach out to the patient and only to the patient. Whatever number you provide for your chart is the number we will reach. Uh, I can also put into your chart no mail, so you will not be mailed at all. And that way, if it's your home address where your parents reside as well, you, you won't get any mail. Oh, that, that's... I so keep that in mind, guys, what code Cindy is. It is pretty much saying that if your parents were to call or if they tried to get any information on in you, which will be explained later, but the whole point of code Cindy is to they'll put a label on your chart and they will say, hey, only person we're going to contact is you and nobody will know that we're giving you hormonal treatment. As long as you got the money and insurance, we're going to do whatever we need to do. We'll keep your parents completely out of this. Absolutely disgusting. I think that would be best. Um, it's your first time here, right? I, I've never been before. I've been too, fr too afraid. Okay, just give me one moment. I'm finding anything, hold on. And you're sure my mom won't find out? Yeah, no, cold Cindy is when um, we have to put labels on your chart. So as soon as I make this chart, it's gonna be contact by phone only. And then it's just gonna be the number you give me. Uh, I'm gonna uh, put no mail for your address and then that's it. Uh, okay. If anyone ever calls for you, um, we can't disclose any information if it's not you, uh, it, you know, okay. you, I mean, because I'm, I'm underage. Yeah, understood. But we help underage patients receive care that they need and want as long as, you know, it's not harmful to oneself. We try to help you out the best we can. As long as it's not harmful to oneself. What do you mean by that? Do you think taking hormonal therapy is not going to be harmful to this young child? You don't think it's going to change this individual's life for the rest of their days? What do you mean, not harmful? Like, how is this supposed to help their life? It's going to change everything about them, things they can't go back on. But as long as you get your little paycheck, I get it. As long as you get that money, you got it. I know, like I said, I understand that some people think that this is good intention. Oh, they're doing the right thing by helping this child whose parents did not want them to uh, transition. But you're not helping anybody, especially somebody who's only 14 years old or what you who you believe to be 14-year-old. It's wild. Okay, I'm so nervous. My palms are sweating. I got you. Um, right now, but the only thing is, right now, I'm already at the end of August looking, and I'm not getting any appointments. But is can I call back later? Yeah, most definitely. I still want to put you. Okay, I found it. So uh, the soonest appointment that I have is August 31st with Dr. Carmichael. This appointment would be a uh, Thursday at 9:40. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me just make a test account to put a placeholder. And then since I have to do, just put a lot of labels on your, on your chart. Just give me one moment. Okay. I'm just so scared. What is your last name? Johnson. Johnson, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Johnson has an H in it, right? Yeah, uh, J O H N S O N. Okay, I'm gonna ask you for your like birth name, but I'm also gonna put your preferred name in the chart. Okay. So, what is your name from birth? Kelly Johnson. And your preferred name? Uh, either Michael or Peter. And my friends call me both. Michael or Peter, hold on. So I, I can't put two preferred names? Is there one that you just, choose more Just than Michael. Them? What is your date of birth? August 8, 2009. So you identify as a trans male, right? Trans man. Uh-huh. Okay, God, I just want to make sure I'm putting it right. What just is... want to make sure I'm putting it right. Once again, what I said earlier, you couldn't take just a quick second to be like, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's take a step back. I understand that you're 14 years old, but are you sure you want to be going through this? You sure you want to be making these things up and getting into here? 
because I'm going to let you know right now, it's one, it's going to change your life forever, forever. It's going to be very expensive. Your parents are still going to have to pay for it one way or another. Are you sure you want to go down this route? But that is not even how the conversation started. He immediately went into, we have termination, hormonal therapy, we have mental services as well. Not, well, I mean, what makes you want to do this? What makes you believe you want to even go this route? Didn't even ask a questions. Just immediately went into, this is the services we have. I mean, does that, to me, does this sound like they care? This sounds like it's just a normal sales call. Oh, oh, you're calling about this? Okay, well, here's this, this, and this. Okay, here's this, this, and this. And we're going to put this on so nobody can ever find out what's going on here. Is there anything else I can help you with today? It's like, what is this, a McDonald's order? I thought, I thought we were supposed to have a conversation about changing the kid's life for the rest of their days. You can't have that conversation on the phone. Because I guarantee you, if you had this conversation on the phone for real, most of these kids would probably hang up. And that's that's the point. I'd be trying to get the child to hang up. Obviously, I would never work for this. I mean, this is really hypothetical. Obviously, I would never do this. But I would think that you have somebody there who their only job is to persuade the kids not to do it. To get on there and be like, are you sure about this? I mean, it's going to cost you $150,000. Your life is going to be changed forever. And you're also very young. So this is going to have some pretty bad effects on your body. Are you sure you want to? I mean, I'll be honest. Just lay down and just try. This is if I was, like I said, this is if I lived a different kind of life. But it just sounds like these people don't even have any compassion. These people who are saying that they're doing all of this for love, they're doing all this because they care. I just can't even tell. You're treating this person like they're just running through the mill. Just, mm, next, mm, next, mm, next. Is your zip code? Uh, I don't actually know. I live in Manhattan. Uh. What is your your address then? Just the first line? I'm not putting it on your chart. I just need to do it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just so did. scared. I don't want my mom to find out. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not putting your address in your chart. I just need to find oh. the zip code. Oh 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 I, I believe it's um one zero zero one eight. One zero zero one eight. I live in the I, what, I, I live in the, the, the Gartment district. What is your best contact number? Um, uh, 910-514-1099. Mm. 1099. Uh-huh. Uh, the number you're calling from is 541. Yes, 910-541-1099. Uh, okay, you told me 514. I'm sorry, I'm just nervous. No, you're fine. I just want to make sure I got correct information. Um, do you have an email you want to put on your chart? The email is only asked if, like, you would want, like, a virtual appointment. Okay. Or to see your, your, your own portal. Okay. Um, M is in Mary. Mm -hmm. F is in Frank. Just want to answer that question real quickly. In some of these states, um, and I'm assuming this is in the Manhattan area, you don't need your parents' uh, consent to be able to go to these places, apparently. Some states I know you're allowed to transition without your parents knowing or having any knowledge of it, which is why it's becoming such a problem. And that's why you're seeing more states starting to stand up. But then you got places like Michigan who don't care. Um, and then you're obviously going to have places like this around here who don't care. Right now, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and say I know the exact state laws in this area. This could be a place that's going behind the back, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't do it. They get shut down immediately. So I'm assuming it's legal to do this um, because Planned Parenthood immediately gave them the number to this place. So I'm assuming this is not a uh, rare occurrence, but yeah, man, I'm assuming that this state allows child children to um, just walk into these places and do whatever they want as long as they got money. What did I tell you, man? The more kids you get to say that they're trans, the more money you can make. The, the, this community health care network is probably running off the backs of children. L is in Larry. D is in David. Period three. In is in Nancy at gmail.com. So you told me M is in Mary, F is in Frank, L is in Lion, T is in David, dot three, N is in Nancy at gmail.com? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have health insurance? Uh, it's best not. No, never mind. I'm, I don't even want your insurance right now <laughs> since we're doing Colts Cindy. Hold on. This. Hold on. I'm going to put some tags on your chart. So the way the tags work is that anytime... 
someone calls in regards to your name or your, your date of birth, um, they have to confirm it's you. Now, the only way, since you're called Zinni, the only way that they can confirm it's you, usually we need three pieces of information to confirm it's you. It would be your name, date of birth, and an email. Uh, then the tags, let's say your mom called and she somehow knew your, your name, date of birth, and email, or your dad. The tags are going to ask them to identify themselves, and then if they come up as either mom or dad, then, then, the, then the representative will have to decline the call. But since you're not getting any mail to your address, there should be no reason for them to ever know that you're getting services from us. Okay. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm worried about the most. Because when I came out to yep. them, they, they yelled at me. Once again, shout out to the Gates Against Grimace. Yeah, man. Let me just give them. Listen, you really need to get out there and protect your children. Y'all need to stop playing these games. I'm not saying kids are going to go behind our backs. I understand that. We can't can't watch every single thing that's going on. But you need to watch out for these people who are predatory on these children. You just heard he asked for her insurance. Insurance. That means they're going to be using your insurance. They're going to find out your information and learn all this stuff, parents. You got to be on your children. You really got to have these discussions about being trans. Is every kid going to agree with you? No, because the thing that really does suck is that in, in society, we do have to go to work and we have to take our kids to public schools in some situations and we can't raise our own children. So they're going to get information from everywhere. And like I said, there's the Internet and everything. We can't do it all. I get that. But you've got to stay involved in your kid's life the best you can because there's sick people out there who are ready to transition your kid without you even noticing. And by the time you do notice, now that your kids are on hormones and everything, and guess what? They can just keep doing it behind your back and just keep doing it until you notice the transition. And then you decide that you want to take action and be like, oh, no, this ain't going to happen anymore. I'm going to prevent my child from doing this. Now you're going to have to deal with the law in some of these states. I know it is a hard life, man, and I don't always know the... Um, option because I know people can't just pick up and move from a state like that and they can't just always have the funds to go sue it's a hard hard world that's why we have to help each other out and keep getting this information out so if you ever hear the word Sydney or code Cindy you need to start asking some questions especially to your child these people are coming after your kids and they don't care what they have to do to get the money off of them I said this before these companies are going to run off the backs of kids because they know they know now that it's a lot harder to manipulate an adult then it is to manipulate a child. Are there going to be some adults that get manipulated? Of course. But think about the kids. They're going to be so much easier to course. Like you said, this this little girl, I know it's undercover, but pretending to make a phone call and no questions asked. It's just, what is your information? Blah, 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 blah. We won't tell your parents. Kids, you know when you were a child, you make ridiculous decisions. But now these decisions... And we knew back in the day there were kids who made decisions that got their lives taken. You know, we've all probably lost friends. And this is the same kind of stuff as everything. Now they got to live in this Frankenstein of a body because they made, a, they made a decision because somebody told them something. Somebody went after them. And the adults that are supposed to be technical kids like we're used to, we're not doing that anymore. So you really have to watch your back for your children at all moments of the day, all moments of the night. And I know that's a hard world, and I know life gets hard, but I am sorry to tell you this. You are the adult, and you have to start making a sacrifice to protect your children. If that means losing sleep and doing all these things, so be it. We don't want children going into this world just getting ready to get preyed upon. Please do the responsible thing. Watch out for your child. Code Cindy. Don't forget it. It's a way to keep you out. Keep you out of your kids' lives. Keep you out of their mind. Keep you out of their emotions. They're going to do all of this without you. For, and for the people who are doing this to the children, I, I really hope you can change your ways. That's really all I have to say about that. Goodbye.